Welcome back to Check Your L channel. Okay, for this video, I will cover 2.2 about factorization. The learning standard for this video is to relate the multiplication of algebraic expression to the concept of factors and factorization and hence list out the factors of the product of the algebraic expression. Okay, in previous lesson, you have learned about expansion. So, for this one, okay, on in 2.2, you will learn about factorization. Okay, look at the meaning of factorization. Okay, factorization is the process of determining the factors of algebraic expression or algebraic terms. And when multiplied together, will form the original expression. Okay, in other words, factorization is the reverse process of expansion. Okay, it is a reverse process of expansion. Uh, and that you have learned in previous lesson in 2.2, you have learned about expansion. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, you have a plus 1 in bracket multiplied by in bracket a plus 2. Then you expand. Then you will get a square plus 3a plus 2. Okay, this process is known as expansion. Okay, this, known, uh, this process is known as ex expansion. And when you reverse the process, okay, it is known as factorization. Okay, it is from uh, algebraic expression, then you factorize. Okay, there are four ways to factorize the algebraic expression by using HCF or highest common factors, and then by using difference of square of two terms. Uh, number three, by using cross multiplication. And number four, by using common factors involving four terms. Okay, remember you have four ways to factorize algebraic expression. So, macam mana awak nak factorize algebraic expression is bergantung kepada awak akan tengok pada how the expression. Okay, the form of expression, then you will know how which method or which ways you can use. Either you want to use HCF. Or you can use the difference between two squares of two terms by using cross multiplication, or the other ways. Uh, number four, then you by using common factors involving four terms. Okay, now just as uh, your refreshment about factors, okay, common factors, highest common factors. Yeah, that you have learned in form one. Okay, factors. Common factors and HCF. Okay, now but now is it is in for the product of algebraic expression. Okay, common factor is the factor of algebraic uh, algebraic term that divides two or more other terms exactly. Okay, highest common factor is the largest. Okay, the largest of the common factors. Okay, for example, you have this expression. Okay, you have expression for x plus 2. Okay, when you factorize this one, okay, you will determine what is the HCF for both uh, for both terms in this expression. For x, you have 4x plus 2 and then by using this method, repeated, repeated division, okay, you can find what is the highest common factors of um, highest common factors for these two terms 4x and 2x 4x and 2 can be divided by 2 okay so 4x divided by 2 is 2x okay and then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 so here this number okay this number is the HCF okay and here Okay, that you have factorized it. Okay, because this one, okay, 2x plus 1 dah tak boleh nak factorize, you tak boleh nak divide, dia tak ada dah common factor between these two terms. So, when you factorize 4x plus 2, the answer is 2 in bracket 2x plus 1. Okay, cuba tengok dan cuba nilai kan. Okay, kaitkan dengan expansion yang awak dah belajar semasa previous lesson. Okay, when you get this question, okay, 
2 in bracket 2x plus 1 ux span okay ux span okay this process is known as expansion so you will get 4x plus 2 and this process okay this process okay you reverse the process okay you reverse the process and you get for a 2 in bracket 2x plus 1 okay okay this one is an example now look at example 6 okay based on your textbook yeah, you can refer to your textbook example 6 list out all the common factors okay this question asks you to list all the common factors for each of the following terms okay how to solve it okay six h okay six h and four g h okay okay you determine what are the common factors for six h and four g h okay six h yeah you can determine okay it can divide by two it also can divide by h okay it also can divide by 2h okay yeah when this expression you divide by okay 2 okay let's say you divide by 2 okay you will get uh, this one 3h and then this one 2gh when you divide by 2 if you divide by h if you divide by h so 6h 6h divided by h is 6 and 4gh divided by h is um, 4g are there is are there any other uh, common factor for these terms okay try to find it okay all right now b okay what are the common factors okay so you look at this three terms okay make sure it can be divided by these three terms okay 9c square d 3d square e and 6def okay the common factor here what you can see here is all these terms can divide by 3 okay 9 can be divided by 3 3 can divide by 3 and 6 can divide by 3 is it can divide by c is it can be divided by c no because this terms and this term does not have c in the terms okay and then you look at d is it can divide by d yeah because all this term uh, all this term have d other than that the common factor for these terms also 3d also the common factors because all these terms can be divided by 3d exactly okay all right so that one is a refresh refreshment about factors and highest common factors okay now the learning standard for 2.2.2 is to factorize algebraic expression using various method that i have mentioned early there are four methods okay now we look at the first method by using hcf okay by using hcf okay algebraic expression can be factorized using hcf this one the example 8x and 12x square the hcf okay the hcf is 4x how you get it okay let me show you you have 8x and you have 12 x square then you use the repeated division okay you divide we divide both terms both terms can be divided by 4 okay and then 8x divided by 4 is 2x and um, 12x square minus, uh, divided by 4 is 3x square now you look at these two terms is it have common factors yes the common factors for 2x and 3x square is x so 2x divided by x is 2 then 3x square divided by x is uh, 3x and this one okay cannot 
simplified anymore. Okay, there are no other common factor for these two terms. So, okay, the common, the highest common factor is this one. Okay, this one you have to multiply four times x. So the highest common factor is four x, and this one you can put in bracket two plus three x. Okay, actually the question is eight uh, x plus twelve x square. Then you have to factorize. Okay, so the answer is this one. All right. Okay. So this is known as factorization by using HCF. Okay, I give you another example. You have four x. Okay, this one you have four x plus two. Four x plus two you can divide by two, and then you get two x plus one. And these terms, okay, this expression dah tak boleh nak divide lagi dengan com other common factors. So the answer is two in bracket two x plus one. Okay, so you factorize the HCF of the algebraic terms. Now another example, you have ten k square. Okay, ten k square plus five k. Then you divide with the common factor for both expression or the four of both terms. Okay, ten k square and five k can divide by k. And then ten k square divided by k is ten k. Five k divided by k is five. Okay. And so this expression masih lagi ada common factors. So you this this one can be divided by five. So ten k divided by five is two k, and five divided by five is one. So the answer is this one: five k in bracket two k plus one. All right. Now we look at example seven. Look at example two seven two. Okay. All right. Factorize the expression below. Okay, number two a. Okay, two a. You have three x plus fifteen. Okay. Okay, awak boleh tunjuk outside workings macam yang saya dah tunjuk dalam. Contoh yang sebelum ini by using repeated division, or otherwise you can simply factorize it. Okay, you look at three x and fifteen. The highest common factor is three. So in bracket is x plus okay fifteen divided by three is five. Okay, so look at this one. You have three in bracket x plus five. So recheck. Okay, recheck. Is it you get when you as when you expand? Is it you get this 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 expression? Okay, so three x plus five. When you expand, okay, you will get three x plus fifteen. So this one is correct. All right. Okay, now look at example two b. All right, the expression is seven m. Plus twenty one m square. So, what are the what what is the highest common factor for these two terms? Okay, it is seven m. Okay, you cannot factorize seven only because the terms okay also can divide by m seven and m. So you div you factorize seven m in bracket. Okay, so this one will be one lah. Okay, because seven m plus one, uh, sorry, seven m multiplied by one is seven m, and then plus, okay, this one will be three m. Okay, uh, ataupun awak boleh tunjuk uh, kalau tak, kalau masih lemah, okay, awak boleh tunjuk by using repeated division. Okay, alright. 
First you divide by 7. So this one will be m plus 3m squared. Then you divide by m. m divided by m is 1. 3m squared divided by m is 3m. So this one is the highest common factor. 7 times m. So 7m is the highest common factor. So we factorize it. Okay, this one 7m. And then this one you put in bracket. Alright, so the answer is this one. 7m in bracket 1 plus 3m. Okay. Alright, so now try recheck. Okay, recheck. Okay, this one saya tunjuk untuk recheck saja. Ya. Awak tak perlu nak tunjukkan dalam working awak. Okay, so 7m in bracket 1 plus 3m. Okay, so 7m times 1 is 7m. 7m times 3m is 21m square. So, this one is correct. Alright, okay now, we look at the second method. Okay, to factorize algebraic expression. By using different of square of two terms. Okay, this one x square minus y square is the difference of square. Okay, ha, kita panggil sebagai different of square. For example, okay, uh, for example, 2 square minus, uh, let's say, 1 square. Okay, 1 square. Ataupun, okay, p square minus q square. Ataupun, 9 minus Ha, kenapa saya kata 9 minus 4 is difference between 2 square because this one it can be written in terms of 3 square minus 2 square. Alright. So, this one x square minus y square can be factorized by using difference of perfect square. Okay. It involves perfect square. Eh? Perfect square. So, when you have question that involve perfect square you can use this method. Okay. This method can only be used if the two algebraic terms are perfect square. Alright. Right now, examine this expression. You have x square. Okay. You have x square minus 4. Okay. x square minus 4. Okay. This 4. Okay. Is a perfect square. Okay. It is also can be written in the form of 2 square. So, x square minus 2 square can be written in this form in terms of expression, algebraic expression. Then, when you factorize it, you will get this one. x plus 2, okay, and in bracket, x minus 2. Kalau mana-mana sahaja yang different between 2 square, okay, awak akan dapat dalam bentuk this one. Satu tu dia akan tambah, satu lagi dia akan tolak. Okay, for example, kalau P square minus Q square, when you factorize, you will get P plus Q in bracket P minus Q. Okay, another example, if you have 4X square minus 9, okay, then the square is... Okay, you write the perfect square in its roots. Okay, so 4 is 2 square. So 2x square minus 9 is 3 square. So when you factorize it, you will get 2x minus 3 or 3, 2x plus 3 in bracket 2x minus 3. Okay, alright, so we examine this first. Okay, before we go further, we examine this first. Okay, you have, okay, now we try to expand that one. Okay, x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, kat sini dia ada x plus 2, okay, dan satu lagi x minus 2. Okay, satu tu yang tambah, satu lagi yang tolak. When you expand, okay, you'll get x square. Minus 2x. Here will be plus 2x. And then here is minus 4. And when you solve this expression, you will get x square minus 4. 
So, any other difference between perfect square, when you factorize, akan dapat satu untuk tambah, satu lagi untuk tolak. Okay, now we look at example 8. Okay. Factorize each of the following expression. Okay. B square minus 1. How to factorize it? You have to remember that 1 is also a perfect square. So, when you factorize, you will get B plus 1, B minus 1. It also can be written in form of B minus 1 times B plus 1. Okay. Alright. And then B. This one you have 9M square minus 100. 9 is perfect square. 100 also a perfect square. So, how to solve it is, you write 9 is 3M in bracket square. Okay. Minus 100 is 10 square. Okay. Right. So, when factorized, the answer is, 3m plus 10, 3m minus 10. Okay. Now, try to solve, okay, this one, C. Okay, how to solve C? Okay, you have 3y square minus 147. Look at this expression. Is it 3 a perfect square? No, 3 not a perfect square. So, try to factorize 3. Okay, so in bracket will be y square. And then, try 147 divided by 3. Okay, what is 147? You divide by 3 is 1, 4, okay, 12, 2. Okay, so answer is 49. So, y square minus 49. Okay, so in the bracket, you have difference between two perfect square. The answer is 3 in bracket. Okay, y square minus 49, when you factorize, you will get y plus 7 and y minus 7. Because 7 square, you will get 49. Okay, for example, D, 5k square minus 80. 5 also not a perfect square. So, how you solve it is you factorize 5. In bracket is k square minus 80 divided by 5 is... Okay. How? how what is 80 divided by 5? Okay. 5, 1, 16. Okay. 16. Okay. So, you know, now the in bracket you have different between... 2 perfect square. So, when you factorize, it will be k plus 4, k minus 4. Okay? Okay, now we go to method number 3, cross multiplication method. Okay, cross multiplication method. Okay, this one, in algebra expression of Okay, ax square plus bx plus c. Kalau awak ada in this form, okay, the expression given in terms of this form, ax square plus bx plus c, okay, where a, a cannot be zero, b, a, b, and c are integers, okay, that can be factorized, okay. Now look at this example, okay, you have x square plus 6x plus 8. Okay. How to use cross multiplication method to solve this one? Okay, I will show you. Okay. Alright. X times X is X square. Okay. The first step is, okay, look at this one. Okay. Value A. X square. Okay. This one is number one. Then number two, you look at the at behind. Okay, you have eight. This one number two. Then you have to think what number when you multiply, you will get eight. Okay, 
For example, here you have 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. Alright. Then you examine this one. Okay. Is it? Okay. This one I show. Okay. When you expand back this expression. Okay. X plus 4. You will get x times x is x square. x times 4 is plus 4x. Here you will get 2x. And here you will get 8. Okay. Here is 8 plus 8. When you solve this one, you will get x square plus 6x plus 8. Okay. Alright. So, number 3, you have to look at this value. Okay, how to explain in simplest and how you can understand to do this cross multiplication method. I will show you in this example. Okay, in example 9, you have to factorize x square. Okay, example 9a, x square minus 6x plus 9. Okay, how you can solve this one? Okay, you put a big bracket here and then it have palang kat situ. Alright, so this one, okay, like I just told you just now, the first one you have to look at x square. How you get x square? Okay, how to get x square is x times x. So, x times x, okay, okay you multiply in here. Okay, this one you multiply vertically okay from up to down okay this one you will get x square okay and then number two you have to determine how you get nine okay how you get nine is okay either one times nine or three times three okay untuk okay nak uh, determine what is value you can Multiply here, you have also to refer to the value in the middle. Okay. Awak tak boleh ambil 1 times 9 because kalau 1 times 9, nanti awak tak boleh nak dapat 6. Value 6. Okay. So, kalau 3 and 3, it can get, you can get value 6. Okay. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. Now, okay, you have to examine this one. Okay, cross multiply. Okay, di sinilah yang dinamakannya cross multiply. Okay, X yang di bawah akan darab dengan number yang berada di sebelah atas kanan tu dan X yang atas akan didarab dengan uh, sebelah kanan yang di bawah. Okay, so here you get X times 3 is 3X. Okay, X times 3 is 3X. Okay, then for this one, okay, you have to plus okay you have to plus this one so 3x plus 3x is 6x so now you determine the symbol here you need this symbol okay you need this symbol minus so how to get that one okay it is now you determine the symbol in front of this one so this one should be negative 3x and this one also negative 3x so when negative 3x plus negative 3x you will get negative 6x then you transfer okay you transfer this symbol into this bracket okay you transfer this symbol into this bracket so here minus this one also minus now the, the final step is Okay, you multiply this one. Okay, negative 3 times negative 3, you get positive 9. Okay, alright. Awak perlu dapatkan semula this expression. Okay, bila awak cross multiply, awak akan dapat balik that expression. Okay, so this one, when you factorize, the answer will be Okay, ambil yang dalam bracket yang besar ni. Okay, ambil yang dalam bracket yang besar tu dan working yang awak tunjukkan itu. X minus 3 times 
x minus 3. Okay. Alright. Now, we look at another example. Example B. You have m square minus 2m minus 8. Okay. Now, try to do the cross multiplication method. Okay. You have to draw a big bracket. And then, buat dia punya division dia punya bahagian dia. Pembahagian dia. Okay. Okay. The first step, if you want m square. So, m multiplied by m is m square. Okay. The second step. Okay, I show you. Make it clear. This one is number one. Number two is you want to get a. Okay. What value. Okay. What are the factors of 8 when you multiply, okay, you will get 8, okay. You can choose 2 times 4, okay, ataupun 1 times 8. But now, in the middle, you want number 2. So, the best, okay, the correct answer is, okay, 4 times 2 or 2 times 4. It up to you, okay. Alright, now... 4 times 2 is 8. Now, you do the cross multiplication. Okay. M times 4 is 4M. M times 2 is 2M. And the answer you want, okay, in the middle, the middle you want this one. Negative 2M. So, you have to think, based on 4M and 2M, how to get negative 2M. Okay, and this one you have to plus, eh? okay, for this side you have to multiply. Okay, how to get negative 2m based on 4m and 2m is this one. You put the sign, okay, negative 4m, this one positive 2m. When negative 4m plus 2m, the answer will be? Negative 2m. Now, time to you transfer the symbol into the bracket. Okay, so this one minus, this one is plus. So, the answer is when m square minus 2m minus 8, you factorize, you will get m minus 4 multiplied by m plus 2. Okay. Alright, now I show... Based on the previous example, okay, by using cross multiplication method, okay, by using cross multiplication method for this example, okay, for this example, yeah, x square plus 6x plus 8, x times x, 4, okay, x times x is x square, 4 times 2 is 8, and then do cross multiplication method, okay, this one is, 4x Right, this one it will be 4x, this one 2x And the number in the middle is 6x Okay So, means that this one Positive, this one positive To get positive 6x Then transfer the symbol In the bracket Okay, positive 4 Plus uh, Oh sorry, positive 4 Multiplied by 2 is positive 8. Okay. Alright. Before that, just now I forget to show this one. Okay. When negative 4 multiplied by negative 2. Oh, sorry. Okay. Negative 4 multiplied by positive 2. The answer here, you will get negative Okay, uh, akan dapat balik okay, value-value yang daripada the original expression. Okay, so you have to try to do exercise for more further and uh, for further understand about cross multiplication method. Okay, now we look at example 10. By using, still using the cross multiplication method, yeah, you have 2m square. Plus 7m plus 6. So, by using cross multiplication method, okay, put a big bracket here. 
Okay, and then first to determine this one. Number one, eh? Number one. So, 2m times m is 2m squared. Okay, and then at the back here, this one is number 2. You want positive 6. So, what are the uh, factors? Okay, what are the number that when it uh, multiply, it can get 6? Okay, you can try here. 2 times 3. Okay, you put 2 times 3. So, 2 times 3 is 6. Now, you cross multiply. Okay, when you cross multiply, this one will be 2m. This one will be 6m. Is it you can get 7m? Is it you can get 7m? No. So, this one is not the correct answer. You have to try to come up with other number. Okay. This one. Okay. 2m times m. Okay. And then you try 3 times 2. Okay. Just now you try 2 times 3. Now you try 3 times 2. Okay. This one 2m square. This one 6. When you cross multiply here, this one will be 3m. This one 4m. You want to answer is 7m. Positive 7m. So, here will be positive. Here also will be positive. So, transfer the symbol inside the bracket. Okay. Positive 3 multiplied by positive 2. It will be positive 6m. So, this one is the correct one. Okay. So, 2m square plus 7m plus 6. When you factorize, you will get 2m plus 3m plus 2. Okay, now look at another example, example 11. Okay, it's a bit different because here you get negative in front. Okay, the coefficient for the y square is negative. So, now try. Okay, put a big bracket here. Okay, negative 2y multiplied by y, it will be negative 2y and then 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Then cross multiply. Y times 1 is Y. Negative 2Y. Okay, you have to read negative 2Y multiplied by 5 is negative 10Y. Okay, and you want the answer is, the answer you want negative 9Y. 9Y, okay, so here should be positive. Okay, this one you don't, okay, uh, don't transfer this symbol inside the bracket because this symbol is referred to this symbol. Okay. So, this one you have. Okay. Transfer this symbol plus. And this one also plus. Okay. Alright. So, 1 times 5 is positive 5. So, when this expression factorize you factorize this expression the answer is negative 2y plus 1 times y plus 5 okay this one is the answer okay now we try okay another example that involve a coefficient negative for the x square okay this one Okay, this one is just your outside working, yeah? Right. So, here, negative 3x multiplied by x, it will be negative x squared. Okay, and then 1 times 5 or 5 times y, okay, I try 5 times 1. When you cross multiply here, okay, this one will be 5, okay, this one is 5x, this one is negative 3x. Okay, and you want here, you want negative 8x. So, how to get negative 8x? Absolutely, this one should be negative. Okay, so you transfer this symbol inside. Negative. This one is positive because negative here. Okay. Okay, because this negative here refer to this negative. 
Okay. When negative 3x multiply negative 1, it will get negative 3x. Okay. So, recheck for this one. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So, you get back these values. Okay. So, the answer is negative 3x minus 5 multiplied x plus 1. Okay, this one is the answer. Okay. Now, using common factors involving four algebraic terms. This one dah masuk dalam, okay, the fourth, okay, yang keempat. Okay. Method yang keempat. Method yang terakhir. Alright. Okay, now look at this one. Given, okay, the expression have four terms. AB plus AC plus BD plus CD. Okay, you look at it here. AB and AC. Okay, AB and AC. And then, here you have BD and CD. So, you separate both of these four algebraic terms into two. Okay? Alright. Then, here, AB and AC have common factor A. So, it factorizes A. So, in bracket, B plus C. For this one, BD plus CD have common factor D. So, it factorize D in bracket B plus C. So, this one, okay, apply the distributive law that you have learned in form 1. Okay. Alright. Here, you look at this one. You have BC. Here also, you have BC. That's why, okay, yang ini awak sekalikan. Okay. Kemudian, this one. Here you have A plus D. Okay. A plus D. Yang ini. Okay. Alright. Alright. For further understand, let's look uh, the example. Let's do the example. Okay. You have the question A. PQ plus QR plus PS plus RS. Okay. Now. Look at this one. You can separate it. Okay. This one, one. And this one, group number two. Okay. Based on group number one, the common factor, okay, the common factor is Q. So, we factorize Q. So, in bracket is P plus R. Plus, okay, this one. Okay, the second group have common factor S. So, in bracket, P plus R. Alright, so you have, okay, this one you have P plus R. This one also P plus R. Okay, so this one, when you factorize, it will be P plus R in bracket here you have Q plus S. You have to read the symbol in front. Okay. So, this one will be Q plus S. Alright. Alright. Okay, now look at B. Example B. 2PX plus 6QY minus 4PY. Minus 3QX. Okay. Now. What you can do here. Okay. Look at this one. The arrangement. Okay. Okay. Based on this arrangement. You cannot divide it into two groups. Uh, directly. So you have to rearrange. Okay. I mean. Like this. 2PX. Minus 3 Three QX because I want the uh, that uh, the the terms must have the common factors, okay? And then plus six QY minus 
4 p y okay so now we can group it into two groups here the common factor is x okay and here you have common factor okay 2 okay because 6 and 4 can divide by 2 and another common factor is y okay so now you factorize the common factor all right the first group the common factor is x so in bracket is 2p minus 3q plus okay this one the highest common factor is 2y okay the highest common factor is 2y because 6qy minus and 4py can divide by 2y so in bracket is here is 3 okay there is 3 3 um, q minus 3 q minus 2 p but now you have two difference in the, the, the in this bracket you have different value okay in terms of positive and negative so how you can uh, make it similar is this one is 2p minus 3q and this one you change into minus okay you change in this one into minus 2y so this one will be okay this one akan jadi 2p positive 2p minus 3q okay because kita nak bagi dalam bracket tu sama jadi kita tukarkan koefisien yang di depan tu sebagai negatif and then yang dalam pun perlu kita tukarkan dia punya integers alright so now you have in the bracket 2p minus 3q ok and then multiplied by x minus 2y this one is the answer ok maybe it hard for you for the first time you uh, mungkin rasa susah untuk faham kan so you have to try to do exercise for further understand alright so for further understand about all these four methods okay you have to try uh, to do the exercise self practice 2.2 okay alright for your exercise I want you to do all the question because when you do lot of exercise it will help you to uh, quasi e this concept okay the concept to use these four methods to solve to factorize the algebraic expression okay so see you in next video